Snowy January day, too cold to be outside playing and shoveling. Don't want to shovel? Why not use the day to fix your dishwasher? Here we have a KitchenAid dishwasher that is not getting the dishes clean, which is a common complaint. When I looked it up, I watched a 15 minute video on how to fix it. Well, you can do it in less than 15, and you certainly don't need all the details. So here's my version. Very cut down, untechnical. So just remove these end clips so we can get this rack. The racks are out. Look at that. They roll. Isn't that fun? You could put your little kid in there and give him a rack. Okay, I've been at this less than one minute. Now we just remove this piece from the clips. Sounds like I'm breaking it. That makes it sound like it's more fun. Let's unclip those. Now that's not so hard. Next we gotta undo this. By the way, one thing we've learned, never move the assembly in its housing in the cabinet. Because what will happen is the whole water line that's behind there breaks. And it leaks into the ceiling and goes to the next level underneath you. And in my case, it was pouring out of the ceiling into my printer. That was a fun. One. All right, might be good to clean up the blood off your hand for those of you who are health minded so we're not putting bio materials down in your dishwasher. Not that there isn't already some other nasty bio materials. Ooh, a bread clip. Yes, we would like to wash that off our plates. Good thing we didn't rinse, because then Tom wouldn't have something to do during the day on a Sunday afternoon. So you reach down in there, cautious to get all the infection you can in your open cut. Um, in the next segment, we'll be teaching stitching, um, home stitching of open wounds of the hand. All right, so you get all this stuff out of here. And I guess there's a little uh, something something down in here. I don't know what the technical term is. Like a segment that you want to really get cleared out. That's the important part. And I guess we'd want to take this one screw out of here. See it there? This is a cover for the part that shreds your food. It's like a garbage disposal piece. Take this cover off. We'll okay, that. next there's a simple little plastic thing that you can unscrew, so it seems. So you sit there and wedge on it, and it won't come loose. So you're thinking, I'm stuck, I can't do this. Two minutes into the project, and I'm done. So you grab a big pliers like this. Just makes you look like you're working harder. So if you're doing a honeydew list, should be even that more proud of you. Anyway, you don't really need one that big, but let's see, I don't have a tripod. Hold it with my chin. Simply because your hand has more leverage, just hold it there and reverse this backwards. It's like a lever, you know? Not, you're gonna leave her because she gave you a list, but because you're, it's a lever and you get leverage, then you can just unscrew the whole thing and kind of have fun with it. Wiggle it out and out it comes. Only two minutes into the project. You can put that on with a rolling cart ride. Have your little kid hold this in front of them. Say it's a propeller. We'll show you that one in the second part of this clip. Actually, I won't because I don't have a little kid. Oh no, I need another tool. I need something to unscrew these. And it's called the Torque Screwdriver, they said on the website, which made it sound complicated and like something I could no longer figure out. Um, and to get to this fourth screw underneath this, they said just simply lift this and twist it a few degrees. Look at this, I look important. I'm taking apart an entire dishwasher. I should be making what a repairman makes right now. But I'll be making more points because I got a bigger tool. I didn't mean anything by that, by the way. Okay, we got those star-shaped, I don't know what that's called, screws. They can't just be normal screws, of course not, because then you couldn't use something fun like this. And you get an attachment, it's basically one of these. And the size is uh, like a T20. Let's see what I can see without my glasses. Anyway, yeah, it's a T20. You hook it up to your Dewalt, and you simply just 
stick it in there. Whee! Man, you look important. And I was mis-aiming the camera. But I'm fixing the dishwasher. And the fourth one is back behind here. So what's basically been going on is dishwasher's not getting our um, plates and glasses clean, so it's leaving residue of icky food. And there's probably shrimp tails down in here, because they get down through here. I know we don't have toothpicks. Uh oh, here's a seal. I wonder what that goes to. Uh, you'll figure it out later. Um, just take these out. You don't want to drop them down in there, but even if you do, they'll be where the shrimp tails are. Shrimp tails for dishwashers. Bad thing. Alright, once those are out, you basically grab this assembly. Two hands is better, but I am holding a video camera. And you basically just grab it out of here. Dustly. it all together. Set that off to the side. Bleeding a little bit makes you look really important and your honey will really appreciate what you're doing. Of course you might appreciate it too. Having clean food is a good thing. Yeah there's a gnarly thing in there and some more gnarlage. Corn. Might be good to rinse your plates before you do the dishes. Just saying. All right, that's an interesting problem. It's a long ways down into there. And even though I own a DeWalt, it won't reach without touching the side. So if you're lucky like I was, I went to a garage sale where they were basically selling, I don't know if she was divorced or what, but a gal was selling all the tools. I assume maybe a divorce or Maybe she was just mad or maybe she stole them. I don't know. I didn't care because I got this, this deal here, this ugly companion for, uh, she had five bucks on it. I talked her down to two bucks. In it was all sorts of cool stuff for guys with broken dishwashers and um, bits and whatnot. So long story short, I found this little guy. This is an extender. So I put the star bit in there look at that it'll fit so we just uh, add that to the DeWalt and now and I'm not paid by DeWalt yet for advertising this material maybe they will send me a, a free tool of some sort I don't need any of this though I got it for two bucks of course they fooled me that was a different size so we gotta go to a T15 or something it sounds like a military uh, magnetic head you gotta love those Okay, this cover for the food shredder, or whatever they call it, I, I really use technical terms as you can tell, basically just lifts to the right if you're facing into the dishwasher. If you're facing out of the dishwasher, then you shouldn't be in there. You should get out before you break something. And this is why the dishwasher is not washing. Of course, those of you with teenagers, if you have three, like we do, you got three dishwashers and of course four because I would do dishes anytime necessary. This is when you get to view a couple years worth of things that you wash like a carrot, a piece of corn, a couple of rocks, lots of dog hair, a piece of plastic. Look at that thing melt. I knew I smelled that one day. So you get this thing all cleaned out. I know this is the gross part of the show but just think how clean it's gonna be. That looks like brand new. Ah, your most important tool, the spoon. You can spoon out the lobster tails and the cracker crumbs. And uh, yeah, that's definitely a lot. Not lobster tail, I meant shrimp tail. I don't eat lobster unless someone buys it for me. Hint, hint. If I come and fix your dishwasher, you can buy me a lobster dinner. All right, well, that's pretty well wrapping up. And I'm only five minutes into this job. So, um, and, mm, tasty, tastes like vinegar.
I didn't really do that. And there, after cleaning this out, you find that you had uncooked pasta shells and seeds and pieces of plastic and rocks and dog hair and bones and all sorts of, oh, a pumpkin seed. That ought to be good. Um, so it didn't, you know, the longest part of this project was for me to just get in there with my hand and router that stuff out of there. There's one more step. There's a, um, a rubber seal thing that is a flapper valve. You gotta reach down and get that out. The little flapper valve is located right down there. See that black part? Um, you just reach in there with your fingers. Use your fingernails. Grab a hold of it. Pull it out. It's just a flapper valve. It opens and closes. And it, basically, I didn't find anything in there, but you'd want to pull that out and check it uh, in case it's not opening and closing correctly to let your dishwasher drain. That was clean, which is amazing. Maybe I'll only show that part. Okay, the worst is over. Now it's the reassembly part. The flapper screen is in there. Um, figuring out which way these things go, okay, is gonna be the part that's most important so that you get everything put back like it should. Okay, that piece goes in there and we'll put the, this uh, filter on. Notice that filter does not filter out much about that but you know stuff gets passed here and it's supposed to get ground up but you can't ground up pumpkin seeds doesn't that look like I know what I'm doing got a Dremel tool down in the deep part of the dishwasher and it's making those tool like noises and when you put it back together it's actually gonna work oh, man you're gonna be looking charming when you have this all assembled back together Okay, that fits right in there like that. This gets a quarter turn to get it started in to be seated. And then next we get that little, nope, not the propeller. We need this part. But before you get too carried away and put this in place, remember to put the one screw that is going to be obstructed back in place. Now if you have this assembly in the right spot, it'll seat up and you'll be able to screw it in. I recommend a couple hand twists to make sure it's started and then drill it in there. Remember to switch back to your T20 bit. Jeez, I sound like I know what I'm doing. I'll leave my extender on there. Just to make it look like it's something special. Don't over tighten. Okay, sometimes taking things apart is a lot easier than putting them back together. I recommend just taking this clip off here and leave this piece by itself so that reassembly is a lot easier. I'm showing you how to do it the hard way. So do this whole video before you attempt it. There it is, now it's in place. So now you have this back together here and clip it back into place back here. Clip it into place up above. Those clips are super simple. Next, we shall install the propeller. This is what makes your dishwasher fly. Hold on. No, we don't. I'm showing you how to do it wrong again. Remember these guys? Yeah, three of them. So, and I had put the other one in, in that um, food shredder earlier. So you just get these lined up first, all three of them. Don't drop them down inside or you'll be disassembling again. No, Stephanie, no disassemble. No disassemble. You gotta be my age to know that movie. Can you name that movie? Write it in the comments. First one to get it right gets free dishwasher repair video. All right, so next comes this assembly. That's a water sh shoots through it. The jets. Looks more like a propeller to me. Um, you may have to kind of monkey with it a little bit, back it up a little bit to get it to seat. Then you can start screwing it in. All right, this little guy is tricky. You gotta hold this down right here, and with your other hand, hold this in place, and then, I don't know how to do this without a tripod. Um, you gotta hold this in place. Yeah, there we go. And then push this clockwise to spin it tight. Then the whole thing turns down. There, just in a matter of 10 minutes, you got all the pumpkin seeds and 
fishtails and everything else out of your dishwasher. And now it's time to put those racks back in. I didn't give anyone a ride on those racks yet. So you lower the wheels down into the carriage. And then once in place, you just simply snap those back in, put your racks back in. The bottom rack just goes in on wheels. No assembly required for that part of it. Make sure your parts all fit together. The door is sealing. Give it a try. There you have home dishwasher repair. Don't screw it up, and if you do, don't call me. When you're cleaning Bye. out that dishwasher, consider the use of a beautiful yellow lab. She might want to clean out that drain trap for you. Huh, puppy? Yeah, you're a good girl. You want to get a treat? Come on, let's go lick out the dishwasher. And if you don't like your fingers stinking from the project, then just do a load of dishes. Simple. Now I can go play Call of Duty, because I did my honeydew list. Bye.